Have you ever gone to a doctor's office, but instead of names, all you see are suite numbers? You're not sure which suite corresponds with your doctor. So you head to the front desk and give the person there your doctor's name. The person then looks up the doctor and gives you the matching suite number. That's a formatter's lookup table. It takes information that comes from one app, your doctor's name, and transforms it into a corresponding information that we can send to another app, their suite number, like a directory. That sounds a lot like what Formatter does in general. So let's get specific with an example. You run an online store and your e-commerce software categorizes products by SKU, but your accounting software has product IDs instead. And these numbers don't match. When you try to add the new orders to your accounting system, there's a mismatch between SKU and product IDs. The lookup table solves this problem. When you create a table that matches each SKU with its corresponding product ID, Zapier can send each purchase to your accounting files without having to worry about the confused information. To use the lookup table to solve this, we need to understand a few fields. First, there's the lookup key. This would be the SKU for the just purchased product that triggered your Zap. This is the information we get from your previous step, usually, but not always, your trigger step. Next is the left column. The key. The key would be all of your SKUs. It can be one or many rows of options. Then there's the value, the right column. This would be the product ID in your accounting app. This is what the lookup table matches your lookup key to. And finally, the fallback option is here in case there isn't a match with any of the options. Think of it a bit like Rosetta Stone. It's an ancient stone tablet that translated Egyptian hieroglyphs into other languages. The lookup key is a sentence that you want translated. The key is the book that contains a ton of sentences, and the value is the translation of the sentences. And the output of this step is the translated sentences. Once you have all the keys and values filled out, be sure to use the output from the lookup table in your action step, and you're all set. To recap, the lookup table is like a directory. When your app information doesn't quite line up, the lookup table is like your Rosetta Stone. It pairs mismatched information, so if you get an SKU from your e-commerce app, Zapier can turn it into a product ID for your accounting app. It's okay if you need a break. This was a lot of information. We'll see you in the next lesson for some more formatter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button below. And if you're new to this channel and like content like this, consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.